What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news. Now, I was not planning on doing a back-to-back -back news week here, you know, back-to-back -back days of news, but it was too insane. It was too insane of news. It was too much stuff going on that I had to get on here. We even had AEW and WWE figure reveals. I don't know if I'll do a separate video on that this week or if I'm going to do more of a, a double upload. I don't know what I'm going to do because I want to cover those images because I think we had a lot of cool stuff shown off. It is of stuff we've seen but it was way more detailed and stuff like that. But just the other day, my man Steve from Mattel went on to the Turnbuckle Tavern and he had an epic interview with with everybody, man. He had an epic interview. It was very entertaining stuff. He went on the Turnbuckle Tavern. Great podcast. I'm not going to show the whole thing. It was like an hour long. I will leave a link to it down in the description below. But I did want to run through the details because I think that we got a lot of great info from Steve. We got some stuff revealed to us, kind of. You know, not like images per se, but some info that is very, very valuable that I think you guys are going to be excited about. So with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into what we got here. And I, I'm excited for it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I wanted to cover here, man, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the info and then kind of plug the clip in so you guys can see it for yourselves and hear what he has to say. And then I'll come back and we'll kind of go like back and forth there with the info. But this is really a huge stuff, man. Starting out first, the Ruthless Aggression line. You guys know that we just got the Ruthless Aggression line or we're getting it. We saw the first two series revealed to us and then we just recently saw series number two after, you know, previewing series number one. We saw series two on display at WrestleMania 38 at Axis there. And so he had some some huge news here about this and this man said that he he plans on having six waves plus of the ruthless aggression wave which is just insane i mean what what are we talking about here man we saw we're getting a new like ruthless aggression line you know what i mean we're, we're getting the, the wave two of that and um i don't know elite 100 is around the corner as well mm -hmm. and so i'm excited for for everything that's in the playbook right now yeah, um, Ruthless Aggression, you know, there were uh, a very vocal uh, group of fans who wanted more RA oh, figures, yeah. and I was like, <laughs> just just, just you wait, you know? Um, and this is the anniversary year of Ruthless Aggression, um, so we were waiting for, for something purposeful, um, and now you guys have it, uh, an RA, uh, RA line uh, for at least at least six waves, uh, oh, and maybe oh, some other... It maybe some other surprises thrown in as well um, over the course of time that the that the line runs. It's 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 a good time. I mean, we want to support every generation of fandom, right? Um, and mm -hmm. I think I think whatever generation you love most uh, is represented in some way. So it's it's a really good time right now. So you hear in the clip that he mentions the six waves other surprises in my brain i'm thinking are we, are we going with a ruthless aggression ultimate edition somewhere we did kind of just get that right with batista at target uh could it be a ringside exclusive could we see a ringside exclusive what about a chase figure is there going to be some chases in these ruthless aggression lines i don't know but you guys know i already I, i'm a, i'm all in i'm all in on the ruthless aggression doesn't matter who they release from the ruthless aggression i'm going to be all over that so i'm just happy to have some ruthless aggression figures in our hands here man gonna be insane i can't wait for it but I thought that news was huge about the Ruthless Aggression Wave. Gets me super excited to see what Comic-Con has to hold. I'm sure we'll probably see renders of Series 3 and 4, possibly. I don't know what the whole detail is there. I would love to see the Ruthless Aggression line continue for 100 waves. You know what I'm saying? So, that was huge news. Another thing that we heard about was Ultimate Editions. We had some stuff about Ultimate Editions. He mentioned new Ultimate Editions. He mentions repeats and stuff like that, which I thought was a very interesting note. Because there's so many talent who still need an Ultimate figure. What's challenging? challenging is is sometimes things happen like such and such didn't re-sign their contract yet so you put them on hold for a while or or you know someone gets fired like those things can can blow up plans and you've seen some repeats here and there a lot of times those repeats are because a contract issue or whether it's you know negotiations are ongoing for someone to stay with the company or someone leaves the company and you're like okay we can we only have time now to to tool up new heads right because yeah. everything else is more complex so i i know i, I see that comment a lot like oh we're getting repeats there, there's reasons for that you know we're not intentionally trying to to do a bunch of, of repeats we know that we want aj and seth uh and, and sasha um and, and so many of these these new modern talents and plenty of, of legends still need to be done you know razor ramon uh being high on my list um you know, Sergeant Slaughter requests for him to, to return because of Comic-Con. I know I just talked about repeats, but I think he warrants it. So you guys heard in the clip that basically he talked about repeats being a part of the business. You know, guys getting canceled, signing new D 
deals, things of that nature. But did you guys hear? He said he knows that people want new ultimates such as current talents, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks. Huge news right there. That makes me think that those guys have been in the works or are in the works, and we could see that possibly at Comic Con. We'll have to see about that. Play that by ear. But I thought that was huge. And he also mentioned Razor, so that's a huge thing. Is get again? I thought we were getting Razor way back when. I thought he was going to be a part of of the last few Ultimate Edition series. That never came to fruition. We did end up getting Diesel with the Mattel creation. Crowdfunder, but I don't know. We'll have to play that by ear to see what we get, but Razor would be an epic, epic, epic Ultimate Edition. We'll have to see where it comes, but I thought that was an interesting note as well. We saw WrestleMania weekend. There was another diorama of a Raw stage, which kind of brought me back to a couple of years ago when we saw a diorama of the, uh, the, the new gen arena. Is this to gauge interest for what could possibly be another crowdfunded topic in the future? I mean, of course, right? Anytime we, we build a Dio, I mean, the intention isn't always to gauge interest first and foremost. It's to house whatever is going to be in the Dio. But yes, also, we're there and we're there to listen to you and we're checking social media to see if you guys want something like that. A raw stage is a no-brainer, right? It's yeah. just like It's just like insanely complex and expensive so there's just like so much work to do to make it accomplishable because you know we hear like oh yes i want it but how much do you want it you know how much do you want to pay for something like that you know uh that's well, the real question no. <laughs> yeah yeah I, wa I want it but i don't want it for a thousand dollars right um, <laughs> yeah right right so so there's there's a lot of work to be done and we're always you know working on things like that whether it's officially moving forward um or we're just exploring right so yeah. I, I would put that in the exploring area right now because it is it's crazy that thing's crazy it had smoke it's gigantic there's so many yeah. pieces to it Definitely. um yeah yeah so yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't say that something like that is like something you're going to see in the coming months or whatever but we, we are definitely like trying to see how that could be feasible as an item. Now, speaking of crowdfunds and all the Ultimate Editions and things of that nature, they talked about the raw stage and stuff like that. He had an interesting note here that made me think that we're probably not going to see that raw as war stage as the crowdfunder, but he did say that, you know, we should expect it soon, but he didn't say that we'd probably see it in the next couple months, which I thought was kind of odd. And that was kind of bummerific, to be honest with you. I would have loved to hear, you know, an update or something like that, but that is unfortunately not what we got. Another thing, speaking of Mattel Creation, he did mention something about some exclusive Mattel Creations figures coming, which I know a lot of people groan and moan about exclusives. I think they have their place. I think they are cool for what they are, depending on where and when and how we get those guys, how the distribution is and stuff like that. But I could absolutely see what he's talking about in this clip. I want to I want to bring you back to the Mattel Creations for a minute, because seeing a lot of the cool aesthetics that they're putting up on there on the website and stuff is there a, a, maybe a need or a, a want for making individual releases through mattel creations like uh you know a doink with a real fitting coat or you know just an example a rick flair with a very outlandish robe or just something along those lines along the the ultimates line but like with more decked out uh attire maybe or deco or like something that you could probably spend like a $50 price market on not so much a 30, you know, for, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you'll see, you're going to see, you're going to see more exclusives on Mattel creations as time goes by, hoping to reveal uh, maybe one or two at Comic-Con. Uh, but yes, more, mm -hmm. more single figures, maybe multi-packs bundles. Right. I mean, you, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless, right? You know, when and we you... get Steve with just that one word answer. So you guys will see there, he's talking about getting, you know, a really cool Mattel creations exclusive. And he mentions it about Comic-Con. We're probably going to get one or two shown off to us. And I don't, don't know but i feel like if you're doing a comic-con deal like that and you say oh a mattel creations figure is coming soon they'll have the figure ready they'll have everything ready i guarantee it goes up for pre-order shortly after comic-con maybe even that same you know weekend or something like that that could be something we see i don't know we'll have to play that by ear again but i still thought it was valuable info for you and i think that'll be pretty cool another thing that he also mentioned is new soft butterfly joints on the crowdfunder uh the doink figure uh, and Diesel figure have um, an evolution to the butterfly shoulders with a new material that makes them even um, tighter, but still very uh, poseable, if that makes sense. Cool. Oh, wow. yeah. um, it's, a, it's a different material um, and they'll, they'll hold, hold pose. And I know, you know, some of the, the butterflies before, sometimes there was a little bit of uh, looseness, uh, maybe a little bit too loose. Uh, so this solves that problem. Wait till you get them in hand. Uh, I think you'll all, you'll all love the evolution there. Um, but kudos to our, you know, engineering team 
um, because they're just constantly trying to improve and make make things better. Um, and that's just like the tip of the iceberg of improvements on ultimates that are going to happen over the next like year to two years. Now, the ultimate additions that he's talking about, you know, the diesel, the, the doink, the stuff like that, he did say that they're going to get new tooling. Now, he did say that, you know, those first few ultimate additions, the butterfly joints did get loose. He mentions about, you know, the softness of the butterfly joints there, getting softer, making those tighter things of that nature. And I thought this was awesome news. You guys know that I, I despise a loose butterfly joint a loose shoulder things of that nature makes the figures makes it you know you open it up it has a loose shoulder makes you not even want to collect right so that was huge for me i thought that was amazing and so i was i was thrilled to hear that news and he said that that's just a small wrinkle that they're throwing in there he did go on to say again i do have the full interview link down in the description below so after you see all my info here go watch it to get the full context get the full details watch that thing all the way through leave a comment over there i thought it was a great interview i'd love to have steve on the channel but i think that it was uh, a fantastic interview and he mentions that you know even they're going to go even beyond this there's going to be more additions more tweaks to the ultimate line to the elite line and and trying to maximize articulation and details and things of that nature to make the figures better and better and better as they release he did also mention that elite series 100 they already have the plans locked up they're going to do some special things for it and he doesn't know for sure. He said he didn't know for sure, but he said that it is possible that they are revealed or or that we will know the lineup by San Diego Comic-Con. So that is huge right there. So that'll be amazing. I would love to see that take place. Love to see that come to fruition. We'll have to play that by ear, of course. But that is all of the different stuff. These are the highlights, I think, of the live stream. There was other stuff that I think you guys would really be interested in. Again, definitely go check out that live stream. I thought it was huge. Definitely, definitely go check that out. Link in the description below. But this was some valuable information. Tons of great stuff here. I thought it was a great interview with Steve there. And I'm always happy to know some more stuff about what we're going to be getting. And Comic-Con is not that far away, man. So we're going to see insane reveals. You guys know how Comic-Con is. We're going to review all of it here on the channel. Break down all the news. Cover it. Give you guys my thoughts and all those things. But... I'm planning next year, man. I'm going to Comic-Con. I'm going to be in person. Maybe I can have an MDT mic, walk around, interview Steve and Bill. Maybe, you know, get some act in my own shots of the figures in person. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all this info down in the comment section below. What do you think was the most interesting? Are you excited for it? Etc. Etc. What figure you want to see at Comic-Con? But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a very blessed day.